Hey everyone, and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. For today's DIY Make It Your Own Monday project, I thought I would show you how I took one of our old stools and changed it up into looking like a farmhouse stool. Also, I thought I would show you how we made this sand fence photo display in our sunroom. So if you'd like to see how we did this, please keep watching. So all I did was take a stool that we've had for years now. Um, it didn't really go with our color scheme anymore, so I thought I would change it up and give it a little bit of a farmhouse touch. I started off by sanding it, and I didn't show you a lot of it because I'm sure everybody knows how to sand. And the top, I sanded a lot better than I did the sides because the legs and the sides I was going to paint white and I just needed to rough up the edges a little bit so that the paint would stick to it. But the top, I was going to use this stain. So I decided to use this dark walnut stain and this classic gray color. I'm going to be mixing them right on the top and also just some white primer to put on the legs. And I wasn't too concerned about being super neat or completely covering it because I wanted it to have the farmhouse look. While the primer is drying, I thought I would do the top and I started with the classic gray and just coated the edges and the top. And you can see on the edges I didn't sand it perfect because I wanted a little bit of that reddish color to show through because the sand fence that we used in the sunroom has a little bit of a red to it. So I just did a couple layers of the stain and then wiped off the excess and while that dried and after the first um, coat of primer was dry I went in with some white chalk paint and it only needed one coat after the primer So here is the sand fencing and I think it's called um, sand fence in certain areas and snow fence in other areas. So I guess it depends where you live, um, what you should, how you should look it up, but I think we got ours at Home Depot. It's been, it's been a long time since we've purchased it and we also um, wiped it, we actually scrubbed it down and um, sprayed it with the hose because it starts off really, really red. And we wanted it to have more of like a, <clears throat> like a rustic look. And we went ahead and played with the placement on the wall first and my husband put in the, the plugs that go into the wall before you screw it in, the drywall plugs I think they're called. So we knew um, wh where we were going to be putting the screws. And then we wanted it to have like almost like a wave look to it. So we didn't, you know, we didn't have it straight across on the bottom and the top. And we pulled it away from the wall in some areas. I'll try and 
get a good shot of that. I will link this fencing um, in the description box. I found one on Amazon, but it's not the same color. And I think it was more expensive than what we paid at Home Depot. So make sure you look there first. I will also link this screwdriver because it is so awesome to have. I don't know if it's really picking up on camera. I don't know if you can see the wave look to it. So now I'm just going to take some pictures and I have metal clips or you could use clothespins, whatever you have to hang the pictures. And I used all different size pictures. And here's the finished look. I think it goes really well in our sunroom. I have more of like a coastal farmhouse theme in this room. And the color on the wall, if anybody is wondering, is called sea salt. And I think the stool looks really cute next to the fencing. And I really like how the stool turned out as well. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this project. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I hope you stop in and say hi in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye!